Hey everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. This is my second video of kit number two because the first video was an hour long. And all I did was show everything that is in this journal kit. So this is the other journal kit that's almost identical. There are a few nuances. Uh, book pages are a little different and some of the cards. Otherwise, it's pretty much identical. So I'm going to go through this one and see if I can't speed it up a bit. So um, when I list them in my Etsy store, which will be linked below, I will have kit one and kit two um, listed. So this will be kit two. And it's my first stab at journal kits. So um, bear with me, and I hope you like what you see. I believe there's enough material in here to make four journals uh, if you don't embellish a lot, or even if you do, probably. But in any case, let's get started. I've got this uh, silk-ish, polyester silk uh, sash that you can tie up your junk journal with if you'd like <clears throat> and you get a really long piece of it I love this stuff so um, I included that around the package and you can wrap it around or do what you want with it let's open it up and see what we have first in the package let's look at put this to one side. I included from my Etsy store, which I've sold for so far, I just posted it the other day, it's my first digital kit, and really it's my original art, mixed media art that I did, this particular one, and it has seven pages, it's called Boho Me Background Pages. So I took some of those pages and made some tags. There's another digital kit that I actually tried to make a digital set from. So there's probably five or six pages that are created digitally. And then there are another six or seven pages that are my mixed media art that I also have a couple of tags I made from that in here. And that kit is called Yesterday's Memories. I may end up separating out my mixed media art pages from that. Uh, because I wasn't able to show pictures of it because Etsy only lets you show 10. So none of those pages are shown. But anyway, here are the tags. And I'm using jumbo paper clips so that you have those for altered paper clips later. This is from the yesterday. These tags are from yesterday's memories. And online, when you look at the digital, where it's black here, is really that rose, I mean a bronze colored foil that I did. I don't know why my printer won't print bronze. It'll print gold, but not bronze, so it shows up black. I like it like that, but just so that you know when you print it. And this, again, was my original mixed media background that I did on wood. So those three tags. These are from the Boho Me background pages. Got a large tag, where, and it shows the gold that I used. This is gold foil and then I inked all the pages for you, I mean the tags, and punched it out. A lot of people like my inking so I went ahead and hand inked all the tags for you. So you've got a long skinny, a short wide. This is an envelope and it open so like so and I also ink the back um, I left this unglued so that if you wanted to make it a flip out with pages here or um, for journaling space you could this is a tuck corner tuck spot that you could do at the bottom on either side or the top of your page whichever you like and it's inked on both sides another tag different shape this is a journal card that looks about the size of an index card. 
a journal card with rounded corners, a little larger. And this is uh, a tag, final tag. So you get all of those in the kit. And we'll put those here. This is a piece of wallpaper. The first kit has a maroon, rusty red color uh, wallpaper. And this one has the uh, antique gold look with the browns. And this would be a nice journal cover. It's large enough. You know, you can make two. This is double, but you get a, a substantive piece. You could use it for two journal covers, pockets, whatever you want. This is the old dot matrix printer paper. You get sheets of that. Some of you may not know what that is. Uh, some of you may. So this is cool for drawing or journaling or whatever you want to do. This is some paper from my stash. It's really cool paper. This page is different than the one in the other kit. Piece of cardstock, zebra print, and I've got a heavy white piece of cardstock. This is not as heavy. I don't know the, the poundage on these, so I'm sorry, uh, but not quite as heavy a black piece. Here's a um, white envelope, a good medium size that you can use uh, in the journal. These are postcards that a friend of my sister's traveled all over the world and collected them. Some of them are from the 70s or 60s possibly um, up to the 90s I guess but I've tried to select some that I thought went with a boho-ish theme uh, certainly all of these um, materials could be used something other than boho this is I wish my camera would focus better anyway I can't get real close it's a woman um, looks like she's dressing or either undressing, not sure which. And this postcard is a French painting. The model is what it's entitled. And it is displayed in Fort Worth, Texas. And this is a postcard of that painting. This is another postcard of St. Paul's Cathedral in London. This is the ceiling in chancel. And I thought the colors and everything looked very boho, and it's a beautiful postcard. This one's um, got lots, you know, you can use them for a postcard or in your journal for, for journaling. I love this house. <laughs> I think this looks very boho just because of the colors. And I would love to have that house. Is that not gorgeous? Um, but it's the Sieste La Vienne. La Vie N. This is from, was built in 1891, fully restored in 2007. So this postcard obviously is, was since 2007. So it's a, a newer one, but it's a, a landmark in Oregon um, as a premier example of Queen Anne architecture. So, but anyway, it looks boho to me. And this Canna Lily postcard looks boho because just of the lily and the flower. Um, this was an oil painting by Georgia O'Keeffe and that's the postcard so you get those then here is a cream color piece of cardstock that should go with the other cardstock here is a black envelope and this is a piece of corrugated paper kind of a, a pinkish tan color um, that you buy in a pack not like um, actual cardboard. I love corrugated paper, so it's like I have a thing about it. This is a book page from an art book. Love this image that you could use. Um, this particular one is Giovanna Battista Galli, Triumph of the Name of Jesus, Ceiling Fresco and Stucco Figures. So this is in um, Rome, Italy, the painting. On this side are some other paintings. I'm not going to read them all to you, but they're gorgeous images that I thought went nice with a boho theme. Then you've got some vintage book pages. Um, these are 
from an old book. This is Robert Frost, why he selected 16 poems, um, and then part of a poem. This is all out of the same book. These are, I call it encyclopedia dictionary. So you get a little more information than just a regular old dictionary page. So you have three of those pages. The request, appreciation, petitioner, prohibition, consent. I mean, you can highlight even words that you would want to use in your journal. Circle it or highlight it and you to call attention to that would be great. These are actual dictionary. Um, well, I say di these are not dictionary pages. Yeah. It's vintage, and I'm not sure what kind of book it came from, honestly. So you have one, two, two of those, three, no, three, five of those. And you actually have two additional ones of the Encyclopedia Dictionary. So there's several of those. Both kits have the same number of pages. They just don't have it from this, you know, they're different pages. There's a piece of graph paper that's blank on the back. Came from a card pack. This is a phone memo. We used to have to do when you were secretary and you had to take down the information. You get a large envelope that you could also use for your journal cover if you wanted. Here is a primary school piece of paper. You got two sheets. I think in the other one I only did one. Um, this is coffee dyed belly paper I got from Amour Fabri. I will link her below. You can get some good deals and her supplies and things from her channel. This is one of the sheets from my Boho Me background pages digital set from my original mixed media art that I will have linked below from, from my Etsy store. I include one sheet of that. Here's another book page from that art book that I have. Um, I love this side. I thought this looked very boho. So you have that. Um, here is a vintage music sheet. Versus from Jocelyn. Benjamin Goddard. So you get that. Here's some stationery that you could use. It's, blind, it's not double sided. But you have some of that. This I got at the Turnip Green, so it's with those disc bound binders. Um, it says come through full circle, so I'm not sure what, what that means. I did not include that in the first pa um, package. And then you get a white envelope, which is in the other package as well. So, all of that. I mean, this thing's packed full of things. So, you will have more than enough to make several journals from this kit. And I'm excited to do it. Um, would appreciate your input. Um, I may do some smaller ones so that they will be less expensive. Um, but certainly for what you're getting in this one, it's a great value. Um, next, we'll look at the Few more book pages. Well, sorry for all the crinkly sound. Pulling it out of my bag. Okay. Sorry about that. So I have some 12 by 12 papers that to me looked boho-ish. I folded them in half to fit. This I love. It's black edged, um, rust, gold, cream, a little dot of green here or there. This is a lime or olive and turquoise. There's some butterflies and these pages are different than what is in the other kit. So this is one difference. Um, love these roses. It's like a rusty red. And then on, this is double sided. On the back side there are teapots with clocks on them and flower roses, butterflies. And I thought this was a beautiful page with the butterflies. 
and it's the dark turquoise colors. It is, you know, the other pages other than this one are not double sided. Then we have two sheets of this heavy card sock that says brown. I love this stuff. It's really good for tags and what have you, or to back flimsier things so that you have some substance to them. This is a book page from a botanical book that I have that I really love. It's heavy duty pages. So you can cut out, you know, these and use them in your book or fold it in half and use it that way, however you want. Then here we have some doilies, paper doilies. Figure out how to open the lovely thing. Okay. You have two coffee dyes. And I coffee dyed these. They smell like the coffee vanilla I, I mixture I use. I got that idea from Annette McKnight or Campbell. I can't remember your last name, Annette. I'm so sorry. But if I can find her channel, I will link it below. If anyone knows her channel, please put it in the comments below because I got that um, idea from her and her stuff smells so good so I started doing it and copied her and then you have some black doilies which I love you don't find those very often three cards they're all blank on the inside this one has flowers this is a uh, butterflies and flowers and this is just a cool boho ish design so you get all of those as well we've gone through that now we have this heavy duty paper bag. I love this, it's super thick and I wish I could remember where I got them because they're really heavy duty and um, great to use in your journal. Uh, you can use this like as a pocket, you can cut it and then add these to make pockets. There's all kinds of tutorials on YouTube about how to do cool things with paper bags. This is just a heavy piece of cardstock. I thought you could use the flip up you could use it as a pocket. It's it's almost chipboard like um, a cereal box, but it was used for, I believe, to hold baseball cards and what have you. You get that, this cool Rolodex card, which is um, rounded. I like that. These I got at the Turnip Green. They're kind of a foam, styrofoam-ish little envelope. There's one in each kit. I have enough to make about 10 of these kits uh, to, to have them almost exactly the same, but I'm only posting two right now. Small envelope cardstock and vintage glassine envelope. This is a pearlized seed that is so pretty. I've got a lot of these that I got at the turn, uh, Smart, Smart Art Shop that we have here in Nashville. And it's heavy duty, but it's so pretty. So I've got one of those, another craft colored envelope, a little larger. This is a flash card from a kid's game and there's an elephant which obviously goes with the boho theme to me and he's a cute elephant and E for elephant in case you forgot how to spell it, We're right there. There's some flash cards. This is a vintage, um, I think it's a library card. There used to be a pole or a rod that went through here and you had it in a long drawer to look for them in the library. They don't have those anymore. And this particular one was Robert Herrick, Poetic Works. Uh, so that's cool. So that's vintage. This is from that children's game. It's a pear. Pear. So in case you forget to how to spell those words, you have help. These are division flashcards, word flashcards from a game. Um, these were from Spelling Bees, how, some things that kids won. I'm not even going to try to On the back, which is cool, it tells you how to pronounce it. Urshbraka, Urshbraka, a parent language that's been reconstructed using evidence from later languages. Who knew? I'm not going to try it, but I thought those are interesting, so those are cool. 
here uh, to me they look boho-ish even though they're Disney princesses but these were from the Dollar Tree and they are large playing cards and you've got the ace with her on it and it's from Tangled the series Tangled and here's one of the princesses with the king and there's a rose and this is Disney princess card flash uh, just playing cards then here's a um, say the numbers can you say the numbers okay this is not for children so <laughs> this is a smoothie card that I got a whole set of and I just thought that went well with the kit it's planet pineapple and it gives you the recipe so that's really cool I thought this looked boho-ish. It looks like a castle of sorts. So a uh, card on a uh, set of cards that I got that tell you different things in the world. This is St. Basil's Cathedral in Russia. I didn't even know there was a cathedral, a Christian church in Russia, but that's what that is. Here's a, just a little cutout from a paper pack that says sweet, blank on the back. This is from a pack of cards that I got that are about ancient Rome knowledge cards and I thought that looked boho-ish. It looks like a hinge of some sort but it is a coin set pendant so it hangs like that and they're the coins. So that was interesting and put that there. Then I gave you a, uh, put in here a couple of different library cards. I'm sorry library pockets the other kit has two of these. This one only has one. And five library cards. Then I gave every kit one of these from Tim Holtz. A die cut that, that you can put tags in. Here's some Project Life cards. Various ones. Uh, be silly, be honest, be kind. That's a cut out from a... Um, paper pack. don't remember which one. Some peacock feather notepads. You can make a little mini journal. Here are some paper bags that you can use for pockets or whatever you want. And then a craft one that's a little larger. So those. Some game cards. Pictionary. These are vintage playing cards. And this is from the game Clue, the fortune teller. I thought that went well. And then you get, I gave you some tickets, quite a few of those. A large Project Life card that's different than the one in the other kit. And a time, vintage time card. There was a time when people actually had to fill these out. And then later, they didn't fill them out. They had to punch them in a clock. I've done all of it. Yes, I am that old. So there you go with that. You get a nice white bag that you can put in your journal. It's a good size little bag. It's sturdy. Um, I did these words and used my tear ruler um, to tear them out for you so you didn't have to do it. Next time I probably won't do that. I'll just print the sheet out. Elephant in the room which goes cute with the elephant tag and things. You can put an elephant stuff on the page and use that. I didn't ink them because some people don't like inking. These are little phrases I got out of books that I like. Try new things. Do it all with love. Have the freedom to express. Make a difference. Quietly watching. Secretly I thought it was funny. <laughs> Distinctly bohemian. Of course I did. Beyond her reach. Everything else was forgotten. I know you can't read these because there's a glare. Overcome her fear. So they're all, I did them with a tear ruler. It was a good place. I wonder, come on, let's do it. Her interest focused. So you have all these little words that you can use in several journals or not. Whatever you'd like to do with them. Now we'll get to the fabric. So I have this um, Snug Hugs seam, uh, seam binding that I love because you can wad it all up and make it look like sorry silk because it'll do like this. And then you can tie a cool little bow. And this is good quality muslin. 
um, you get quite a bit of this that you can use for a cover the inside of your book um, whatever you like then we have this was from an old pillow of some sort that had down in it and I actually there's a still a duck feather I did not wash this piece because um, I got it in an antique store that was very clean and nice but I didn't want to um, I was afraid it might fall apart or something so but anyway you have that a piece of champagne colored lace we have this uh, pretty sheer fabric with the gold trim that was a curtain balance that I got. This was fabric I got at a craft retreat that I went on in January and it's very boho. Uh, cut up some special pieces to put here that you can use for a fabric flip or for whatever you like. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this is the paisley design. Isn't that pretty? Then this sheer brown with the shinies twinkles on it. I don't know if you can see it glitter. I love that. Larger piece and smaller piece. This you can use to uh, red with the cream trim. You can make a journal cover out of it that size or do whatever you like. I have several of these in different patterns. I don't have any more of this pattern that I'm going to make journal covers with gorgeous piece of chocolate brown velour. It's really soft, really pretty. So you get quite a bit. This is a, a piece of a vintage piece of linen. Um, looks like this. I did not coffee dye it. And this is a just a piece of it. And this you could use for a journal cover. I have hoarded this. I love this fabric. It's just so rich. It's sparkly gold with the dark greens, the lighter greens, burgundy, maroon, red, mustard. Um, and I gave you a big enough piece that you could use it for a journal cover. Or you can use it for other purposes, whatever you prefer to do. So that is that. Isn't that awesome? All this stuff I'm putting in here, I didn't realize how much until I started showing it. So. I'm trying to speed up this time. This is a big safety pin that is really cool just clipped on a page or to hold something or you can make something with it. I dyed it with alcohol ink, black, so I wanted everyone to have that. You get this large piece of burlap uh, ribbon. Then this is a piece of burlap la with lace on top. Good size. This is vintage crochet trim of some sort that I thought was really pretty. This I got from Joann's. It comes on a big roll in fuchsia and white and I got the white. I love to smell it and I coffee dyed it with the vanilla coffee so it smells luxurious. And that can be for page trims or belly bands. Same with this page trim or belly band. It's got wire in it. Um, you can take the end here and pull the wire out if you don't need the wire. I love this. Got this on clearance, although it was still high, um, from Joann's. Isn't that gorgeous, those beads? You could just use one at a time, but be careful that they don't come out. Um, or you could, that I thought would be pretty at the bottom of a page, so you don't add bulk. And as Mrs. Cog calls them, drippings that come out of the bottom of your journal. This is a little mini doily. A uh, piece of vintage doily. All these are vintage pieces. Crocheted piece. This was off of a jacket that I had. And these were off of a scarf that I got and I cut up. And you have more of those little roses that you'll see in a moment. And then that one doesn't have any. Some more pieces from the jacket. This is a really pretty piece that I cut off of something. That piece. Then you have this one piece of little lace with a flower. This is off of a collar. I don't know what kind of uh, linen you call that or 
d detail, but that's what that is. Then you've got cheesecloth. This was off of the same scarf. It's more like a gall, uh, super fine cheesecloth look, but it's uh, I love the color. This is uh, got more of the blue in it, cheesecloth. I got it at Joann's. This Joann's cheesecloth came that color, which I love. I don't have to dye that one. And then this is creepy cloth that I got at Halloween one year in this color, and I love it. I mean, I use it instead of cheesecloth. It would also be cool for a mermaid journal because it can look like fishnet. But So that's a lot of trims that you get with the cool safety pin. And it doesn't have a bail on it on the end, so it won't, things won't get stuck. So you have that. Then we have some ribbons and trims. Um, all, I'm not going to unwrap all these, but you get more than enough to put on your tags or pages. There's turquoise, there's some eyelash trims, ribbons, fibers in brown, and this is an eyelash trim that's the soft kind. This is a cool trim. And rust, uh, fiber, and eyelash trim. So you get all of those. And then in here, we have uh, this, bro this um, rose gold or uh, copper colored ribbon. There's some gold sparkle ribbon from Dollar Tree. This is quite a bit of natural silk, not the silky silk, raw silk that I got from someone on Etsy and I don't remember who it was. Uh, red, this is really wide seam binding. And then there's some gold little thin ribbon that you could also use for tags and such. Some other trims. Um, there's some more of the Hug Snug. This is cloth ribbon. This is little tiny black and brown and then black and white you can use for tags. There's some um, mustard seed, mustard color seam binding that is twice that width. It's just folded up. And this is some vine trim that I got at Hobby Lobby. So you get all that. Then here I've included some trim fabric things from India. Um, it it either came from Boho Daydreams, Sheila Gingrich, I'll link her below, or Dust Fairy, Sophia, I'll link her below. I, I get stuff from both of them and I honestly don't remember which. This is a beautiful applique. I've been hoarding this fabric. I love it. <laughs> um, but it's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? If that doesn't scream Boho at you, I don't know what does. This was a large piece of trim. I thought it was really pretty. This is a dark turquoise that has the metallic little sequin things inside it. This is a piece of trim. Um, I thought these were little pom-poms. They might be pom-poms or little mini tassels, but you have that. this braided gold trim that you could use and then I made these button clusters so there's a large one with a vintage button and this one's a smaller one it's got several layers of different things with a vintage button that I made so you get all of that and you have a bag of buttons and some flowers. Whoop. One of your buttons went off. A little tiny piece of trim. This probably should go with the um, stuff I got from Sheila Dust Fairies because that's what it came from. This is a little applique that came from them as well. Um, you have a little butterfly that's got on the cardboard with a little butterfly on it. It's kind of 3D because it's on the whatever you call that stuff that makes it stick up. So you have that. I included some extra paper clips. You have a blue flower. A little different than the other one. And then you've got these little beige flowers. Several of those. 
Then these were all off of that scarf, and they're cute, just little flowers to glue down somewhere. You have this little red flower. Uh, I've got three bulb clips, bulb pins, and I couldn't not put something on them, so you've got some little dangles already there, but they're just holders. You can take it off. Hear that? That's off the belly dancer belt that I ordered years ago, and I still have all those. They're really cool. Lots of vin all these buttons are vintage buttons. So you get all those buttons as well. So I am going to move those here because I've got to take pictures of everything for Etsy. We're almost done. This is a little bag of charms and chain that you can make your own little uh, jewelry dangle off for your um, journals. It's a beautiful peacock um, pendant. You've got your lobster claw clasp to hang it with. Got giving you six antique gold uh, jump rings. This is off of a vintage necklace. It's amber colored little stones that you can hang. This is off of a piece of vintage jewelry. There we go. Different colors. A uh, piece of silver chain. And then you have a dragonfly pendant, butterfly pendant. I don't know. One day I'm going to find out why my camera does that. And here's a little camel. I have it in both. All the charms are the same in both kids, but I just thought he was cute. A little tiny camel and a little owl key. So you have all that to make your own little dangle, like a little mini one, or you can use it with whatever you have to make a larger one. Then last but not least, I made one of these each for each kit. <clears throat> and this is a tassel, but it's made out of all out of chain and jewelry. So, um, you know, the flow journals, I thought of being having a flow tassel. I've attached everything with jump rings, so you can take them apart and use it as you need it. Or, I liked it so much, though, I don't know that I wouldn't just hang it on a journal as is. But the thought when I first started was that you could take it apart and use it... Um, little pieces of it. And I'm not sure unless my camera was over there in front of me. See? It's really pretty. You can't see it good when you look at it. But it's got pearl. It's got all kinds of different colors chains. It's got leaves. Here's your elephant chain that we, our charm we have to have. A little bell. Oh, well, you can't hear it. Yeah, and I've got different coins. A flower. There's a key. All kinds of cool stuff on here. And this chain I've used for years. It's got all kinds of jump rings all over it. So you can leave them on for the dangle effect. Or you can take those off and use them for other things. You've got a lot of them. Or you can attach more to it. But as you can see, all these would come off. If I show you the construction of it this way. Like so. So if I lay it sideways. See? Like this. You can take them off as you need. Some are attached to the chain. A little half coin. Um, all kinds of different cool things here. And a lot of this is vintage pieces, vintage jewelry. This is vintage, this vintage, vintage, vintage. Uh, this is vintage. But in any case, and when you pull it up, it just looks really pretty as is. So that I may end up selling separately um, or put it with this kit and charge accordingly. Let me know your thoughts. If you're interested in one of these kits, let me know. 
and uh, you can private message me. Otherwise, I will get them listed in my Etsy store, hopefully uh, tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful Memorial Day and remembered and said a prayer for our veterans who deserve our utmost respect and thanks. Thank you for your service if you are a veteran, uh, and we appreciate you, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.